Small islands are particularly vulnerable to the effects of global warming because rising sea levels mostly. No one is perhaps more aware of that than Torek Ibrahim. He is the Environment and Energy Minister for the Maldives as well as the Chairman of the Alliance of Small Island States. He joins us now live from Marrakesh. Thanks so much for joining us. So as we said, your country is particularly vulnerable. You've been called the canary in the coal mine of sorts. So tell us what exactly your fears are and are they being addressed by the international community at conferences like this one in Marrakesh? Yeah, uh, as you know, the Paris Agreement uh, is uh, now enforced. Uh, last year, we, we had a lot of work done, and uh, almost all all the countries agreed to it. And, and now the, the Paris Agreement is now enforced. We, what we would like to see is now to have the Paris Agreement start working and have all the countries start um, doing their their part, so that uh, we we small islands will be able to uh, live uh, live uh, or reduce the effects of impacts of climate change. As you know, airlines of small island states, we have 44 islands, and all these 44 islands, we have uh, we are getting different effects of climate change. If you look at Maldives, we, one of the effects that we are seeing is the coastal erosion and also the change in weather patterns and uh, uh, having more more uh, dry seasons you know so that the water shortages is there so these are the effects that is happening to some of the small islands some islands are getting eroded more so uh, if you what what we feel is if we start tackling the effects of climate change now then uh, we should be able to uh, in the future we should be able to reduce the effects of climate change there is no turning back at the moment uh, as you know all the countries here in marrakesh have vowed that uh, that uh, we will go ahead as 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 we have agreed in the paris agreement and we will go ahead so uh, I'm, I'm very hopeful that we will be able to okay. uh, tackle the climate change uh, in the future. But to mitigate uh, potential disasters, the Alliance of Small Island States that you are chairman of needs financing uh, in order to cope. So are you seeing your financing goals met? Exactly. Or yeah. do you need a lot more help? Yeah, we need a lot of more help. Actually, the finances is very important, especially financing for adaptation is very important. Um, that is something uh, the developed countries should start working. By 2020, uh, there, there has to be about 100 billion US dollars uh, for, uh, for financing. And out of that, uh, half of that should be for adaptation. So for small islands, we need adaptation. We have to adapt for the effects of climate change. And that is something we want uh, the developed nations uh, 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 put in finance as soon as possible. That is one of the actions that the developed countries has to uh, uh, do immediately. Uh, that is, uh, we need financing, as you exactly said. We and need in, financing in your for, case, what is for it, the survival. What is it that the Maldives needs to do most urgently with that financing? No, we, we uh, if we, in the case of Maldives, we need to, we, we want the financing for our adaptation, like the coastal protection. We have start seeing erosion, heavy erosion on some of the islands. So we need to start protecting the islands from the effect of climate, uh, from the from the effect of climate change, and, and also uh, other issues is to have more rainwater sh uh, storages on the islands because we use uh, drinking water on al almost 186 islands. Most of the islands harvest rainwater for drinking. So uh, for to 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 have to to have a good storage to cater for the dry season because the dry season is getting longer now we need uh, rainwater uh, storages uh, and and also uh, as i said we need uh, uh, better sanitation facilities for uh, for the islands where it's not a it's not a uh, development infrastructure as such but for the proper healthcare systems in those small islands we need to have uh, on some of the islands to have better sanitation facilities and water storage facilities on the islands we we have 186 islands, inhabited islands. Okay. Torek Ibrahim, thank you so much for joining us there from Marrakesh.